Yeah, it doesn't seem two minutes since I was talking to you. <laughs> I think I will go on the motorway. What time is it? Quarter past one-ish with the bike clock. Not sure about the camera clock. It doesn't really keep accurate time. Funny smell, Let's just give the back a quick check. Unless it's warm, warm fuel. Yes, it's a good opportunity to, to stretch my legs as well. Yes, I know I should have cleaned it. I was going to check them off as well, like I said last week. Drill through them stuck bolts and check that off. <coughs> Sorry, Albert. Just a pre ride check. That we should all do. <coughs> yeah, I said that uh, that's why that chap. Is that the old stocks? I've never seen that before. <coughs> One of the chaps who watched my video said he's got a bike dryer after you wash it, you blast it with this sort of relief gun type of affair, but it's got a heater on. And I said, oh, you could do it to dry, dry your toes, couldn't you, after a shower? After you, all bit. Right, so a quarter past one, see so what time we get to Blackpool. You don't have to watch this part if you don't want. I won't be speaking much on the motorway because there is a strong breeze. A nice refreshing cooling breeze, but you won't be able to hear much. So I'll keep stum, I think until we get there. Yeah, my first visit this year to Blackpool. I've not been for ages. I should have gone last weekend, but it was just so hot and I was tired. And I was going to go to that bike meet. Plus I was working, getting up at half past four. And you need to relax after a bike ride, right, don't you? Because your mind's sort of racing slightly. Somebody said you don't sleep because if you're on your computer just before you go to bed or watching television, it stimulates your brain, therefore you can't uh, concentrate on sleeping. So you need to just sort of do nothing for the last hour and have a milky drink. Cocoa or Horlicks. <laughs> Talking of Horlicks, when we were little, Oh, someone tells about me dad, he was an electrician, so he had a decent wage. Plus, uh, they had good strong unions in them days. And we always had holidays. Out of Wales, Blackpool, all over. Scarborough once. And can you afford to go on holiday these days? I'm sure many of you can, but... Uh, Lots of the population who are in crap jobs like me can't afford holidays. Supervisor at work said he's off to Egypt. I said, Egypt? And one lad said he put £20 a week away, and of course that's a £1,000 in a year. He went to Lanzarote for two weeks with his uh, two daughters and his girl. I said, yeah, but is there anything to do for kids? What do you do apart from fry on the beach? I wasn't taking piss, I just said, well, would he not be happier at Blackpool? Oh, it rain. I said, well, for little kids, frazzling, wouldn't, uh, is that the right thing? <laughs> at Blackpool, you could go on the kiddie rides at Blackpool Pleasure Beach on the pier. Is there Blackpool, my ass? <laughs> I've always said if you get a bit of a heat wave, you can't beat Blackpool for local holidays. It might be expensive, but I said, well, you have to get your money's worth. 
instead of getting a wristband and only staying two or three hours, you get a wristband when it first opens and stay all day on the pleasure beach and get your bloody money's worth. You know, £30 lasts all day. This has been turned into a left turn for the M6 South down here. I didn't check again for a book splash, did I? Doesn't matter, it's only a motorway jaunt. Oh, that's quite busy. Like I said, I could have set off earlier. things to do I got my credit card and mobile phone on my inside pocket just in case change lanes now I know I'm not used to these lanes I've not been this way for a while <laughs> I've had some time to swap lanes even if we are in the wrong lane all I'm near misses on YouTube I thought Instead of all that swerving, just stay on the roundabout and go around again, that's what I do. I don't do any sudden, if I cock up, I don't do any sudden movements normally. I just go around the roundabout again and then find the proper lane. But some of the road rage, hell of fire. They just go mad, don't they? <laughs> Was that there before? What a hideous thing that is, behind that old inn. What a bloody mess. Oh, another petrol station, that's handy to know. Oh, bike, so you're going to Blackpool. I'll see if I can catch them up, a bit further up. Depending on how busy it is. Yeah, we feel being very cautious, Albert. Raz, <laughs> yeah, where's them bikes? They must have been shifting. Like I said, I'm not going to speed, but uh, quarter past one. Maybe ten to two, something like that, as I guess. At least it's not gridlock like the last time. Albert, I've left a gap.
Like the bikes are heading north. 20 miles to Lancaster. Still a mile a minute if you're doing 60, if you're doing 80, a lot less. But uh, in no time. So we'll be in lakes within an hour. In lakes. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Then that in it, maximum speed 50. Fuel still okay. Said I'm not going to speed to take it uh, easy, just doing 72 now. Can I stick to the middle there? There's a few of them. I went to the pub and there was an artist on playing Alvin Stardust. Pretend you're happy when you're blue. It isn't very hard to do. 
so in June I think I'll come back on the train like I normally do and have my usual two or three pints and a meal despite being skin you need to relax don't you Katie left to let this chap know I'm not going to turn out suddenly. I do indicate right. Oh, 88. 88 miles an hour in time travel speed. <laughs> Seven miles, Lydon, St. Anne's, eight miles. Uh, bit of a bumpy spot. Seven miles, that's less than five minutes then. We'll just in the tower after this clump of trees. Well, I will. What I mean about the mirror, it's wedged in that spot, so it's perfect visibility, no pissing about. That one's not too bad, but it needs some minor adjustment. Can you hear me? Can you hear me, mother? We need me a black pool! <laughs> Bring me a little stick of black pool, Rob, along the promenade at Stroll. It gets a little sticky, but I never complain. I like to have a nibble of it now and again. Dee dee diddle 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 dee 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 diddle diddle dee. Bring me a little stick of black bull rock, lordy lordy. 
Yes, there's a windmill and there's a tower. Still quite a way off. I'm going to go on the south road just so I can stop on the south promenade. There's lots of, lots of parking spaces so I can stretch this bloody leg. It's in like hell. You don't have to change lanes, I don't think. Or do you? Them lines are closer, aren't they? Tim's going to change his mind at last second. No, good. Closed for a charity event full of diversion. Are you mad? Oh no! Charity event. Are we going to do a run of the bloody promenade? charity event. Maybe I should have put tinternets on to see what was going on. Uh. What is it? A bloody three-legged race or a hopscotch challenge on the promenade? Why would they close the bloody road off? It's going to be chocker. at the time from quarter past one and now it's 20 to 2 25 minutes <coughs> I could have done it in 20 although well, still a couple of miles from the promenade but close from where the entire length it should just be a short section if they're going to do some charity ray, whatever that is. Oh yeah, he got ahead of me. That seemed to let overtake the B&M Boygins truck and I thought I overtook him. New Estate, look at this. All the interesting shapes, all the old boxes. Oh, a bit of a diversity. Redwood Point. Oh, they're going to live them. Oh, God, I can stretch my legs. Ah. 
Ouch. <laughs> if it gets any worse, I'll end up toppling over. That's with a bloody support bandage on. An exclusive development of family homes. Kensington Developments. <coughs> well, if the promenade is closed, there's nowhere else to go, is there? I mean, that's only a place of interest. The back streets are crap. So I might go to Lytham and go to that cafe, have some grub. The Pier Cafe. Or even that seafarers, if there's parking. Come on, come on. Marvellous. From an hour close for a charity event. If the airport's still closed, so the weird thing an airport. Why would an airport go bust? Unless just a lack of use, because they used to fly direct to Spain. And it took all the congestion off Manchester Airport. Unless tour operators just stop bothering. You're not gonna say what the actual event is on this thing. Oh, until three o'clock. Hmm. Oh, that's that pub. Uh, down near on the left, a big back, there was a big back shop. And it was opened by Carl Fogarty, and I went taking photos. And it was like rocket centre size, you know, one of those old glass glass walls type of affairs and it went bust closed down that's what I was going to do I was going to find the A583 and go to the Blackpool Honda shop just to see what they had in but last time I went it was all brand new I think they had about 10 second hand bikes that's near that windmill so that's the start of the A 583 You're indicating then, are you sure? Yeah, let's go on then I find them cars going up there Welcome to Blackpool Airport. So does that mean it is still open or not? I'll head for the seafront just to see if there's any mention of what the charity event is or I might ask someone who's closed the road off. Or put something worthwhile. It's a charity event from the poor penguins of the frozen north. Cycling.
Well, I'm going to tie myself to this archway because so that's sort of where Blackpool is officially, I think. Well, not really, but that's what I was thinking when I said back at Salisbury Hall. Joinery. Yeah, do you advise Gorilla Glue to mend rotten doors, Albert? <laughs> Sorry, Ryan. Albert Ryan. Hey, the big one. So, the talks way 46. So, just half an hour from Salisbury Hall to here. Oh well, that's not so bad. So we're going to pull over and need parking spaces and stretch my legs and have a look at the sea. Are you allowed to stop here? Or is it uh, pay and display bollocks? Pay at machine? Mm, I thought you were free parking. I said once before, if you ever come to Blackpool and you're stuck for parking spaces Yeah, let's have a look on this crescent Me and a mate always used to park on this crescent because there's always, so there's always bike spaces there and he was right Not all the time, can't guarantee it, but uh, let's have a look And also, being far down south it's not likely to be vandalised by silly buggers, you know. See a nice gap here beside this Mercedes. We're still filming, I hope so. So you know what I mean, there's no hooligans going to come down here, I hope. Because it's a bit off the beaten track. Going a bit too close to the wall then. Let's see. Climb over this side. <sighs> Temperature 69. And as I said, 22. <coughs> oh, yeah. Ooh, squash flying my knee, marvellous. I know I should have put my leathers on. The stiff leather might have supported me. Ah, <coughs> leg. No, I'm walking about. It's easing off already. I didn't enquire about a new number plate. Can you see how it's <coughs> faded slightly? I don't think it's illegal yet. You don't think them uh, slash cuts look good? Sixteen ninety nine. Although there were some cheaper ones. I'm curious about the blue ones. I thought should I splash out on some blue ones? I forgot to ask Ian, what's he got to cut him down? He said, I'll cut him down for you. Cut him in half and just put a stubby one on. And they'll stick even better. They're not loose, but I thought a little stubby one would be nice. <coughs> Look nice with being blue. And also, even less risk of it working loose. <laughs> Enough of this waffle, let's have a walk to the seafront. <coughs> Take some deep breaths of fresh black pool of sea air. If there's any pleasant people to speak to, I could ask what this do is and how far is this bloody diversion. Right, after you, Albert, it's white car. I sort of look like an official with this high vis vest on, that's another good point about wearing them. I think I'm a cop when I'm going to work with my white helmet and big high vis jacket. And asking people questions. <laughs> I might get more of a response. That's a support team on that hat. Now let's see if it's charging. New Mayfair Hotel, that'd be nice and peaceful. 
I'd love to have five days here, Monday to, you know, they do a package Monday to Friday, or Friday to Monday, you know, I'd love to have a few days here. I know, I was thinking about that cyclist, I didn't know which way we were going in. Could have had a collision. Is that a submarine? Oh, the tide's been in and it's going out. Look at that, not a cloud in the sky, not lovely. Oh, this is a bit nearer. So they made a promenade lovely, same as Morecambe have. They've spent millions at Morecambe making a lovely promenade and they've spent millions here. And it's like cycling's allowed. Bring some bicycles on your roof rack and pedal for miles. Have a pedal then have a, a paddle. <laughs> Behind me suspiciously now. It's right on the beach monitor. Now, does that beach look filthy? It looks lovely for me. When I was paddling last year, I was annoyed because there were lots, there were nappies and wet wipes and all sorts at the surf edge. Not thick with it, you know, but uh, a few, and of course, lots of plastic bottles and cans because it was high summer but not a lot of people go on the beach I thought it can't be from holiday makers just a small amount of holiday makers can't make that much rubbish so where's all of any crap come from is it floating about in the sea and deposited with every tide shall I tell you about my life and say I'm a man of the world Sail across many times, and I've seen lots of pretty girls. You see that big expanse up there, and right down there, lovely beach. Anyway, enough of this waffle. I'll continue up. You now I'll stretch my legs and just see the extent of uh, what this closure is. Alright, bye for now.